Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. 2016 iPhone SE on iOS 14.4.1, let's take a look. If you want short but detailed iOS 4 reviews that cover the devices you care about, make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you always know if it's safe to update or not. Now I've been using iOS 14.4.1 for a few days now on my iPhone SE, and while performance is the exact same as iOS 14.4, it is ever so slightly slower than iOS 14.5 Beta 4. If you're on iOS 14.4 and are planning to update to iOS 14.4.1, expect no change in overall performance. Animations overall have also remained the same as iOS 14.4. This is as expected as iOS 14.4.1 was just to patch a security vulnerability and nothing more. However, comparing iOS 14.4.1 to iOS 14.5 Beta 4, animations tend to stutter a little bit more. Now, RAM management is, again, the same as iOS 14.4, but this time the same as iOS 14.5 Beta 4 as well. App reloads are more frequent as long as you have several apps open, no matter how heavy they are, simultaneously. Now before I get into battery life, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone SE does have a maximum capacity of 87% and has had a restart, though I've disabled throttling in settings meaning that the iPhone is not being performance throttled. Now this is where things start to change. Battery life shockingly has taken a hit compared to iOS 14.4. Now this is a noticeable drain unlike iOS 14.4 and I have no idea how this even happens, though I shouldn't be surprised at this point because it is Apple after all. Battery life on iOS 14.5 Beta 4, however, was better than iOS 14.4.1, so hopefully we will see an improvement come the public release. Now I've seen a standby drain of about 4-6% per night, which is on par to what we see with iOS 14.5 Beta 4, and close enough to iOS 14.4. Now keep in mind that your battery performance can and will most likely vary from mine. Now as for overheating, I do notice overheating with medium to heavy use naturally, but with light use, overheating seems to still be non-existent for me, like with iOS 14.4 and iOS 14.5 Beta 4. While everything is virtually the same as iOS 14.4 and iOS 14.5 Beta 4 for the most part, we do see an interesting hit to battery performance, however we're still brought back to the main question of should you update. If you're on an early release of iOS 14, such as iOS 14.4, 14.3, etc., I'd say wait for the public release of iOS 14.5. Now if you're on iOS 13, don't need to update and don't experience battery drain overheating, I'd recommend just staying there for now. If you're on iOS 12 and earlier, I'd recommend staying there unless you absolutely need to update. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, you can make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.